What's going on guys? So I am out here at the Forest River display at the Forest River Open House here in Elkhart, Indiana. We're going to take a look at an all new floor plan from the folks over at Palomino Paws. This thing is super cool. They got two others. They got the one that I did a long term evaluation on way down there. This one and then this one. And real quick, you guys met this guy. So this is Maynard. So he is yeah. the brainchild behind the Palomino Paws. I gave this guy so much heartburn when I was reviewing the first unit because I knew nothing about it. It was dropped off and I was trying to figure everything out and work with it. But ultimately we figured it out and I got to say best built RV in North America. Thank you. There, there's no way to even quantify anything else against it. You guys have just constantly evolved and done so much and it's an amazing product that you've turned out. You. Yep. So we're going to look at this new one right here. This is a new XC 16.4 single axle trailer. You still get that custom Moride chassis. You still get that really, really custom air suspension on this thing. Super, super nice Goodyear Endurance tires on it. We're going to take a look on the inside, then we'll come back out. All right, so we're hopping inside. As you can see, I've already awarded it a top pick here at the show. Um, and you'll see why once we go inside. But before we hop inside, let's look at what's going on here. Acrylic windows. Love this outside kind of bar area. The bar stools, which are included. You have your griddle, plus you have a refrigerator over there as well, which is really nice with a drawer. Comes with tire pressure monitoring as well. Everything's composite. There is no wood in this entire unit. You have nice Corian countertops, aluminum cabinetry. I mean, this thing is just made to last forever and they've done such a great job. Truma air conditioning unit in here. Very, very nice, super high end. This is kind of a, a toy hauler-ish type floor plan, but it's not. It's just a super cool bed that when you're on in the back, just check that out. If you're at the beach, I mean, you can't get much better than that. That is absolutely amazing. You have nice cabinetry up here. Look at these strut arms. These aren't spring loaded. These are like real gas strut arms. You wanna talk about quality. That is all true automotive grade. You have your TV mount in place here. You have your sink under here. Your camera's turned on currently. You have your two burner cooktop plus a convection microwave down here. Very, very nice. Bathroom area is pretty good size for what it is. I mean, look at this. This is like a marine style one piece shower. Really, really nice, especially for as compact of a trailer this is. I love this surround back here. And again, everything's composite. The walls are about as bear proof as you can get with an RV. If you saw the, the, the videos I did over at the Palomino factory where they make these, you'll see they did the sledgehammer test, which was no joke. You have a nice mirror on the wall here, a little area to hang stuff. You have some drawers down here as well. Wow, those are nice extending drawers. You got cabinetry here, you got another drawer here. This is really cool. Coming around. So this also turns into a bed as well, up front. Nice area up front, and I think this rotates maybe? Right Let's see, okay. So I don't know what that's gonna do. I'm gonna let Tyler mess with that so I don't accidentally drop it. Does that rotate or does it just raise or lower? Yep. Okay, so it gives you the ability to kind of move it around. It's kinda cool. Yeah. It looks like it telescopes. It does, I know that, I know it does go up and down. All right, over here, you got your windows, all acrylic dual pane windows. You got more of them up top. Very, very nice. Great cross ventilation you can get through here. I just imagine a nice Sunday morning, you open up all the windows, get nice air flow through. Oh yeah, for sure. Now, is this a reversible door? I don't think it is. I think this is, this one opens from one of these ways. Let's see. Okay, there's the handle. Oh, never mind. It does open from both sides. That is super cool how they're doing that. So you can open the refrigerator door from either side because it has basically a catch that hinges on the side you're not opening it from. That is really cool. And this one's Furion. So the other unit we went through was Everchill and this one's, or not Everchill, I think it was Everchill actually. And this one's Furion. Very cool. So this is a really interesting floor plan. What do you think about it? I love it. I love the open and the bed on the end. I think that's a game changer for me. Uh, like you said, sitting on the beach with a nice breeze. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be amazing. Yep, I really like this floor plan. Um, you know, it, it's kind of one of those areas. I love the fact they put the screen there as well. But, you know, it, it's, it's a very small unit, but it feels really tall at the same time as well. Yep. Yeah. 
Let's check out the outside. So, sorry, we got this giant generator right here. So they put a road style tire on this unit versus the off-road Wrangler tires that they put on the other ones. You still get your auto leveling. Again, still full air suspension. Here in the back, you got your spare tire up here. Look how high this is off the yeah. ground. I mean, I feel like if I was gonna be attacked by like a beaver, he could never get to me. It's just too tall. <laughs> What's that? I don't know, can beavers jump? They probably can. I'm pretty sure if a beaver wanted to get to me, he'd probably be able to get to me. But yeah, this is a really cool setup. But the the walls on this thing are absolutely insane. Like they're like two inches thick and it's pure. I don't even know what the material is, but it's virtually impenetrable. Come around this side. So you got all your Victron equipment here. Got a nice big thick hatch right here with slam latches. You got your grand black tank handles, your ladder to get on top. And then you got your solar connection here for additional solar. Um, I do have to ask a question, and that is how much solar is on this unit. Okay, and so real quick, from a power perspective, there's 600 watts of Renergy solar panels on top, which feed into Battleborn batteries underneath, and Victron equipment that controls all of it. So you have a really, really good setup. But no, I really like this unit, super cool. I love what the folks at Palomino are doing with their PAWS series. They have absolutely destroyed the perception of what the US manufacturing industry for RVs can make because super, super well built, absolutely insane construction techniques. You just gotta love it. And then real quick, just to touch on the XC 20.3. So this is the same, well, kind of the same floor plan as what I reviewed for a long period of time, but they've made some changes and some options to it. So let me show you what they did. Well, from the outside, pretty much everything's the same. Everything hasn't really changed. But when you step inside, the one that we reviewed had that flip over bed. Instead, they gave you an option of putting this really cool tilting electric bed in here, which I think is really nice. I think people will really enjoy that. And then over here, instead of having that table that flips up with the bar stools, they put an actual dinette in here. So now you have the ability to seat two people so they can actually sit in the dinette. Uh, they thought the fridge was too big, or some people thought the fridge was too big, so they went with this Everchill refrigerator that's smaller, and it has the capability of opening up from either side. So you can open up like this on the other side as well if you want to hinge it the other way. And then they put this really cool pantry. I think that right there is probably the single biggest thing that really changes the dynamic of this trailer because it gives you so much storage that you just didn't have in the first one. So very, very, very uh, impressed with some of the things that they're doing over at Palomino. They've done a great job with the Paws series. I can honestly say that it's one of my favorite travel trailer lineups that's manufactured here in the U.S. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.